sweet Doc Martin friends and welcome back to today's video. So today we are going to be talking about my favorite Doc Martens of 2023. I'm going to be popping up some footage next to me with me wearing them in different outfits, different ways, because I know I've gotten so much footage wearing these because they were my favorites. Without further ado, let's start talking about my favorite Doc Martens of 2023. All right, guys, so the first pair, and I'm guessing these are going to be on my list every year for eternity. The first pair are, of course, the Jaden boot. I have to say, these being the first pair that I purchased, I feel like these will always be my first love. And I still reach for these, I want to say at least three or four times a week, which is crazy. I do change and I wear more than one outfit in a day, so that's also something to keep in mind. But I reach for these so much and I do clean the leather. I change the laces out when they get really bad and rugged and they still look so pristine guys. I cannot believe for the amount of time I have worn these and this is what it's like too when you take care of your leather on your boots. They, they just they look so good and I always zip my zipper up too now. I started doing that with all my docs when I did that huge video for my Doc Martin collection. It helps keep the form of the boot and the leather a little bit more. So I always make sure when I put them away they are zipped, they are covered, they are wrapped just to keep the boots looking nice. Gotta have the coffee guys, gotta have the coffee. So next pair that we're going to talk about are the Floral Sinclairs and the funny thing about these is I have three pairs of Sinclairs. I have the black floral, the cream floral, and then the regular black ones. Oh, I'm sorry. And the white Sinclairs as well. And I found that this particular one with the cream as the base goes with so many of my outfits and it brings this like edgy artsy a little bit of a quirky pop to my fits and I found myself reaching for these like a week straight almost every day and I was really surprised at that. I thought I would reach for the black ones more because I actually bought both around the same time the black floral and these but these I will say are just so good like even I feel like I could pair it with this sweater with some dark denim and this sweater like the colors are just bouncing off of each other and I feel like it would be so cute they give a juxtaposition to everything I've paired them with in such a good way. So I will say if you're in the market for a Sinclair boot, you'd be surprised at what these can bring. Next one that we're going to talk about are these bad boys, the 1B60 Max Hardware. I know that they dropped multiple versions of these, but I got these as soon as they came out, or at least I saw them on the website. These are not the ones I think they have on there now. When I started styling these for my videos, I realized how functional these were. They mimic a riding boot, but with an edge. So if you're someone who likes more of gothic alternative style and you maybe like riding boots like I do, that's me, these are going to be your perfect functional medium. These go with everything and they kind of remind me of the Jaden boot in the sense that they level up an outfit, but they take it to an extra level. Like these are going to give you that sexy badass look, whereas the Jaden's kind of more just like badass. But these definitely add something to everything I paired them with. I should have taken a picture, but I changed my outfit. I recently wore these with a black slip dress and a long brown jacket and tights with a little pearl bag. And when I say it was just so good, I'm going to have to like recreate that uh, and take a picture for my Instagram guys. By the way, shameless plug. I'm going to plug my Instagram here for y'all. Follow me if you want fashion bedeviled but anyway the hardware on them do you guys see that the hardware is so cool and of course I love a hefty sole I will never not love a hefty sole I'm probably going to be wearing soles like this into my 80s beings that I can still walk <laughs> but that aside I just think these are so beautiful and like I said they have leveled up everything I've paired we them all with. know what this one's going to be the George Black Made in England Mule Oh, okay these babies these babies I was reaching for these for months like I want to say at least two or three months these were in rotation with my fits I ended up putting them back in the box at some point and you know 
just reaching for my Jadens because I feel like that's my default. <laughs> Unfortunately, you know, the Jaden boob will always get the most wear for me. Side note, one of the ones coming up actually might be taking second very soon. But these Made in England mules, you, so you can tell how much I've worn them because look at how that faded. I just kept reaching for these to run errands, to work in, to lounge around the house. Like these are so functional and the hardware. The thing about Doc Martens is they take a basic shoe. Like just imagine this being a basic mule, right? There's a basic slingback mule without the hardware, without the yellow stitching. When I put these on, I feel like the coolest dork you have ever met in your life because they are a little dorky. One of the people I work with commented and actually said that they remind them of pilgrim shoes. And I was like, girl, I do not care. These make me feel so cool. I don't know. Guys, let me know what you think about these down below, but these are definitely something that I could not stop reaching for in 2023. And again, the hardware, the hardware on these is so good. It's chunky, it's bulky. It says, hey, I'm a mule, but I'm a badass mule. <laughs> Next pair I'm gonna talk about are these, these babies. I remember when I was going through the Doc, Doc Martin website last year, and I think it was winter. It was like January or February. And I saw these on the website and I was like, oh my God, those are the ugliest things I have ever seen. I, I can't, I can't make this up guys. Just a side note too here. We all reserve the right to change our minds at any point in time. And we may come off contradictory for that. And that's okay. Just do what you want when you want to do it and F everybody else's opinion. A reel popped up on my Instagram. It's like the Doc Martin universe was trying to speak to me of a girl styling these. But I was like, oh my God, these are actually such a functional and versatile boot. Thinking about the colors of this, it is slightly iridescent, but it's black metallic. You can't really go wrong with that. And the fur ooh, gives it a little bit of an adorable edge. Yeah, you might want to find these. Uh, most Doc Martens, if they're not on the website anymore, I'm telling you, you can get them secondhand. You just have to hunt, you have to hunt a little bit. But if you guys like these, I'll show you guys the box. These are the Jaden Fur Distressed Metallic Black Silver. So I'll show you guys that in case you're interested. These are definitely a staple, guys. Next pair are a sandal because you guys know if you watch my videos, that is, that I am obsessed with the Clarissa sandal and I have multiple Clarissas. So I didn't want to show them because they're kind of like a giving classic. And I'm not going to say these aren't either, but the amount of time I found myself reaching for these sandals you'd be surprised. You'd also be surprised that because these don't have ankle support that you rarely, uh, you know, roll your ankle. Well, here are the vegan Voss quad. I also ended up buying these in white because I also realized how functional these were. Again, a classic black sandal goes with almost everything, makes you taller, makes outfits cuter. I don't know guys, these are so functional. And again, you would think with the height and the lack of support in the ankle, I did a review on these. I'll try to remember to link the video down below as I'm editing this, but these are so comfortable. When I first saw them, I actually first saw these working at Journeys and thought, oh, hell no, I would never wear those. I have them. I now have them. Again, people are going to change their minds. It's just inevitable. Lo and behold, these ended up being one of my favorite pairs and ooh, I almost knocked my coffee over. Highly recommend the Vegan Voss Sandal. Last, but certainly not least on my list. These are the pair that I was saying are probably gonna end up being my most reached for next to my Jadens. I just feel it in my bones. <sighs> it's the Crushed Velvet Jaden. And in my honest opinion, I couldn't believe these didn't sell out. They're actually on sale now. And that made me really depressed because they're like $100 less and I kind of wanted to cry, could not believe that these did not pop off. I think that it's just velvet people don't vibe with velvet. And even I am very particular about velvet, but I've noticed with crushed velvet in particular, it gives a gothic edge. And I don't know, you guys can disagree with me on that, but there's something about these and the fact that they're a max soul and they have the ribbon laces, like the thick ribbon laces that just make me want to wear them. I style these with everything from sweatpants to denim to skirts to dresses, you name it. I have styled these with it already. 
and I even keep these out of the box on my steps because I just noticed how much I reach for them. These haven't been in the box since I got them. Real, real. I think I lied. I lied mine too. I think they were in the box for a couple days and I pulled them out and said, you know what? I'm not even going to leave them in here. <laughs> but yeah, these are just so dope. I also want to know your opinions on these guys. Like, tell me if you like the Crushed Velvet Jade and if you thought they were cool or you thought they were too much. These are the last one. And please, guys, comment down below. I want to hear what your favorite Doc Martens of 2023 were. Tell me what you're wearing. Tell me if there's another review you want to see. I haven't been really talking about Doc Martens that much. This channel is definitely going to become more of a mesh of fashion and Doc Martens. I just want to branch out, you know, a little bit. We're going to keep it in the same realm, though. So, yeah. Let me know what you guys want to see next. That is all I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked this content, please subscribe, comment, do the little bell thingy that everyone talks about to notify you when my next video will be. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate all of you, all 281 of you guys. I will talk to you in the next one.